Good afternoon, everyone. Remember when they told us we were going to hit the two degrees C mark and it would be runaway global warming? Then they had to pull that back to 1.5 C. Now, a new article says the Earth's going to warm by 5 C. Taking a look at NSIDC, left side, surface melt on Greenland, yet when we go to null school, it's 17 below zero Celsius. A look at ocean surface temperatures. Noah caught committing fraud and ocean acidification. Noah caught with fraud and temperature adjustments. And we're supposed to believe them about 5C now? Please remember to subscribe to my channel, Adapt2030. New article out talking about Earth's temperature may rise 5 degrees Celsius now. Ooh, get scared again. Because back in the 1990s, they were telling you it would rise by 2C. And then just recently, they pulled it back because it didn't warm like that. And this nice temperature graph, you'll see how it never went above 1.5C. It's actually at 1.3 right now. Also, they said the sea ice would melt to oblivion, yet this year's melt season was three weeks short, and you can see the definite increase well within the standard 2% deviation growing ice. And the Arctic sea ice today sits at well above 5 million square kilometers. They're definitely going to have to readjust this Arctic sea ice melt season. There'll be a drastic three-week reduction on this graph for 2016. Jumping over to NSIDC, taking a look at the Greenland ice sheet data, you'll notice on the left graphic at the very top, it shows surface melt on October 1st. Jump over here to null school, and it's showing minus 17 C. That's pure fraud. Any third grader knows that water does not melt below 32 Fahrenheit or zero Celsius minus 17 C puts it well into the not melting range. Pure fraud. And then the new article coming out saying that the Earth's on track for a five degree temperature rise. You need to read further down in the article and then they say it's over two centuries. So now they've extended it from just one century to two centuries to get these new scarier numbers. Nobody's believing the lies anymore. There's too much cooling going on, too many anomalous weather events that involve cooling, all blamed on CO2, but it's not coming to fruition, everything they predicted. So now it needs to be a scarier forecast. Almost all the sea ice cams across the Arctic Circle were down this year, and the Arctic Research Center's cameras are still not up. And you need to ask yourself, why were we not able to see with our own eyes the extent of ice throughout the entire melt season with all these cams that our publicly funded tax dollars have put into place, all offline. And now the Barrow Sea Ice Cam is intermittent at best. Take a look at the ocean surface temperatures you'll see right around southern Australia and the entire Indian Ocean going cool. You'll notice across South America where they're having the record cold temperatures and snow, surprise snows in springtime where that dark blue cooling is on the southern edge of South America. Noah caught committing fraud and congressional testimony about ocean acidification. A little bit wider out. Notice the numbers. 8.13 up to 8.28 since 1990. And over the last 2 million years of our Earth's climate history, CO2 has even been 10 times higher than it has now. Yet the ocean alkalinity range has never deviated from 7.9 to 8.2. So this 8.3 that they're showing is pure fraud as well. So a couple climatologists actually saw this data and said, wait, that seems really incorrect. So they even had to lobby NOAA to get the data set. It wasn't publicly available. And these were scientists that actually had to lobby NOAA to get the full range of data that they had. And when they put their chart together, this chart starts in 1910, and that ocean pH level has only risen from 8 to 8.1 over the exact same time. So let's compare them side by side here. 
So on a 100 year time frame in the real data set, it's not even risen one tenth of one full pH level in the eight range, yet the NOAA chart showing that it's up almost three tenths since 1990. Again, pure fraud. Jumping over to US temperature data, this is the original data that was still available in the 1980s that somebody had grabbed, showing 1930s heat spike in the Dust Bowl, and now the new data adjusted shows that, wait, where did the heat spike go in the 1930s? Let's adjust these side by side so you can see the fraud in action here as well. And we're supposed to believe them that it's going to rise 5C, implement global CO2 taxes, shut down our natural gas burning power plants, install wind power, which is unreliable, that plunges entire parts of continents into darkness. And they're still trying to push this and feed you this garbage. It's time for us to fully wake up and take a look at the lies before you and understand this is an agenda. I hope you do your own research. I've left all the links below so you can follow up on what's in this article. And this is just the very tippity tip of the iceberg. No pun intended for the increasing Arctic sea ice. And please jump over to getthetea.com. Take a look at the range of products they have to keep your body healthy during this new upcoming grand solar minimum. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope you did get something out of this video. It seems nearly every data set we're getting right now is a fabrication.